fire. Air. Water. Earth. The world is changing. The sun now rises on a new age and a new avatar. Previously on Rise of Kiyoshi. Tagaka, Marquess of the Eastern Sea. It's an honor to meet the Avatar in the flesh. When I saw you bring these butchers to our peace treaty signing, I thought for certain it meant violence was in our future. Is it true? Out! All of you! I need to speak with the Avatar alone. I do so look forward to our battle of wits tomorrow. Avatar Yun, it's time. We'd use the traditional settings for such matters, so please bear with me for a moment. Hold on. You'll have to forgive me. I'm not the waterbender my father was. I have an issue with you calling yourself the Waterborn Guardian of the South Pole. Why? It's true. My warships are a buffer. I'm the only force keeping a hostile navy from sailing up to the shores of the Southern Water Tribe. The Southern Water Tribe hates you. Yes, well, politics are complicated. I'll edit that to self-appointed Guardian of the South Pole. I haven't abandoned my people even if they've turned their backs on me. If you don't mind, I'd like to proceed straight away to the next stage. Verbal amendments. Ooh, the real fun stuff. On the matter of the hostages from the southern coast of the Zaisho province, as can reasonably be defined through proximity of two Zin, taken from their home sometime between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice. This is going to be hard on him. Why? Given how the rules of leverage work, the best case scenario is he may be able to negotiate one half to save the other. We agreed that it's better than saving none of them. I want them back. All of them. Avatar! I want every single man, woman, and child back. If you sold any of them to other pirate crews, I want your dedicated assistance in finding them. If any have died under your care, I want their remains sent to their families so that they can give them a proper burial. We can talk about the compensation you'll pay later. Hm. Sure. Uh, wait. Really? I agree. You can have all the captives back. They're free. Every single one of them. What? You heard what I said. Go to him. The captives are useless to me anyway. Out of a thousand people or more, not one of them was a passable carpenter. I should have known better. I needed to go after people who lived among tall trees, not driftwood. You want... carpenters? Boy, let me teach you a little fact about the pirate trade. Our power is measured in ships. In lieu of a shipwright, a carpenter will suffice. We need timber and craftsmen who know how to work it. Building a proper navy is a generational effort. My cousins in the South Pole have a few heirloom sailing cutters, but otherwise have to make do with the sealskin canoes. 
They'll never create a large, long-range war fleet because they simply don't have the trees. So yes, I want carpenters and trees and a port of my own to dock in so I can increase the size of my forces. And I know just where to get those things. Yokoya! Now, did you really think I couldn't recognize one of my own in disguise? <laughs> Another thing you should know, I'm really not the water better than my father was. What is this? A backup plan, a chance to show off, a head start on our way to Yokoya. I've been pretending to be a weak bender for so long, I couldn't resist being a little overdramatic. Stop the ships before <laughs> she... Not today, Mom. <laughs> Time to go. Yun! <sighs> Give him back. Well, well, the Colossus speaks. Give him back. Now! Uh, I saw what I needed to see in the boy's eyes. He's worth more as a hostage than an avatar, trust me. But you, on the other hand, you're a puzzle. I can tell you're not a fighter, at least not right now. But I like your potential. Not sure if I should kill you now to be safe, or take you with me. You said your name was Kiyoshi, right? How would you like a taste of true freedom? To go where you want and take what you're owed? Trust me, it's a better life than whatever dirt scratch existence you had on the land. I would never become a Dao Fei, pretending to be a leader when you're nothing but a murderer. You're the lowest form of life. <sighs> Fine. Have it your way. Give me the Avatar, or I'll make you. <laughs> Is that right, Earth Girl? With what? Surely you're not secretly a waterbender, too. Not that it would matter. You saw what happened to the last one who tried to play that game with me. I don't need an answer. Kiyoshi, stay low! Rangi? Hey, Ron. We'll handle the waterbenders. You stop the ships. Jinju, get going! Right. Let's go, Pung Pung.
Kyoshi. Kyoshi! Good work out there, kid. People will be telling stories about this for ages. I always uh. thought you were hiding something from me. Uh. Master Genju? Where are we? It's all right. You're back home. I remember the day you and Kelson told me about your earth bending. You said that you couldn't bend small things, that you could only move good sized boulders of a regular shape, like having fingers that were too thick to pick up a grain of sand. It's true. I never bothered with training. Kelsung always said I should, but, well, it was never a problem at the time. Well, you didn't tell me that the reverse applied, that you could move mountains. You were separated from the ocean bed by at least 200 paces. Not even I can summon Earth from across that distance or across water. I didn't know I could do what I did either. But Yun was in danger. I stopped thinking, and I... Wait, where's Yun? Where's Rangi? Where's Kelsong? It's all right. Yoon, Rangi, and Kelsung are here too. You don't need to worry about them. We lost a lot of people during that battle. Amak was one of the unlucky ones. I'm so sorry for your loss. The Earth Kingdom. It's kind of a mess, don't you think? I mean, look at us. We have more than one king. Villagers in Yokoya wear as much blue as they do green, and the Siwan Desert people barely share any customs with the rest of the continent. Kelsang always said there was a diversity in its culture. Hmm. Did you know that the word for Daofei doesn't really exist in the rest of the Four Nations? Across the seas, they're just called criminals. They have petty goals, never reaching far beyond personal gain. But here in the Earth Kingdom, Daofei find a level of success that goes to their heads and makes them believe they're a world apart, entitled to their own codes and traditions. They gain control over territory and get a taste of what it's like to rule. Some of them turn into spiritual fanatics, believing that their pillaging serves as a higher cause. It's all because Ba Sin Se is not a truly effective authority. The Earth King's power is weak beyond the walls. It never reaches across the land as it should. Do you know what's really holding the Earth Kingdom together right now in the Earth King's place? Huh? Me. I'm what's keeping this giant ramshackle nation of ours from crumbling into dust. Because we've been without an avatar for so long, the duty has fallen on me. And because I have no house backing me for my noble blood, or lack thereof, I have to do it solely by creating ties of personal loyalty and debts. Every local government and magistrate from here to the Northern Air Temple owes me. I give them grain in times of famine, I help them gather the taxes that pay the police salaries, and I help them deal with rebels. My reach extends beyond the Earth Kingdom as well. I know every bender who might accurately call themselves a teacher of the elements in the Four Nations and who their most promising students are. I funded bending schools, organized tournaments, and settled disputes between bending styles before they ended in blood. Any master in the world would answer my summons. But I suppose you wouldn't know any of this. Other than the disaster on the iceberg, you've never really been outside the shelter of Yokoya, have you? Hmm. So you see, Kiyoshi, without personal loyalty, it all falls apart. Now, given what I've told you, is there anything you want to tell me about what you did on the ice? 
I'm sorry. I just wasn't sure of my own limits. I panicked and lashed out as hard as I could. Rangi told me her firebending is stronger when she's angry. Maybe it was like that? <laughs> you know, I've fought Daofei like Tagaka across the continent for so long that one thing I've learned is that they aren't the true problem. They're a symptom of what happens when people think they can defy the Avatar's authority, when they think the Avatar lacks legitimacy. I'm glad there's at least one more person, an Earthbender, who can fight by my side. Despite what I said earlier, I'm only a stopgap measure, a substitute. The responsibility of keeping the Earth Kingdom stable and in balance with the other nations rightfully belongs to the Avatar. It should have been Kurok dealing with the Daofei, shouldn't it? If Kurok were alive today, he'd be at the peak of his power. His poor choices are my fault. Why would you say that? Because the person who has the greatest responsibility to the world after the Avatar is the people who influence the way the Avatar thinks. I taught Kurok earthbending, but I didn't teach him wisdom. The world is paying for my mistake in that regard. Yun is down the hall. Kel Song is across from him. But you should rest. I would hate to see you get yourself hurt. <laughs>